beginning shortly after my PhD, began to work on a variety of issues related to energy systems and particularly some of the environmental consequences of energy systems. I run a department at Carnegie Mellon called the Department of Engineering and Public Policy, which in addition to educating uh, undergraduates also has over a hundred PhD students, all with technical backgrounds who work on policy problems where the technical details matter, and perhaps 20 to 30 percent of them are working on energy related issues. So the Scott Institute at Carnegie Mellon University, first it's going to work on trying to figure out how to use the energy we already have far more efficiently and that'll require technology, but it'll also require changes in social behavior and in regulation. Second, we need to worry about how we find significantly additional sources of energy. And those sources need to be clean, reliable, affordable, and uh, sustainable. It's going to require substantial innovation, both innovation on technology, but also innovation in regulation and in social behavioral areas. The Scott Institute will do a variety of things. First and foremost, of course, we will uh, uh, do research and we'll take our research problems from the real world. Carnegie Mellon is very good at that. And we will move the results back out into the real world. In addition, we will educate a large number of students who can go out into the world and, and have big impact on the way in which we develop and use energy resources. We'll do a variety of things in outreach, that is, both for uh, expert decision makers and also for the general public, with the objective of uh, uh, working to better inform public discourse on energy-related issues. Carnegie Mellon is really unique among major research universities. We work on the technical, we work on the policy, we work on the behavioral and social dimensions, but we are unique in the world to be able to take a systems approach and integrate all these different approaches in one piece of seamless research.